A very warm welcome to all. My name is Dev Khare and I'm going to be taking you through my work Enhanced Object Detection in Floor Plans through Super Resolution. This work was done in affiliation with the Center for Computational Engineering and Networking, Amrita School of Engineering, Coimbatore, Amrita Vishwapitam, India, and Resilience Business Grids, LLP, SREC Incubation Center, Coimbatore, Tamil Nadu, India. So let me begin by explaining what an SVG is. So a scalable vector graphic is a methodology or a, a data representation that comes out from BIM softwares. So BIM softwares are building information modeling softwares that contain polygonal information which are labeled. So these labeled polygons are used to freely design floor plans. In commercial spaces, these polygons are rendered to create images that are used for presentations and different kind of visualizations. One such visual visualization is the 3D representation that can be derived from these polygons. So um, coming to what the use case is, in 2017, uh, Liu et al. had done a work on converting these rendered images back into this scalable vector graphic format through a discriminative network that used a multi-task convolutional neural network. So this approach was revolutionary in, uh, the, uh, in, the, in the scope of automatic floor plan annotation. And uh, since web data contains a large amount of floor plan images that normally um, in the commercial space are used for present presentations, these, this uh, approach was revolutionary in the, in the uh, conversion of floor plan images back into the BIM software um, uh, data formats. So um, how the process goes is it converts junction it converts the raster image into uh, junction points and pixel by semantics so this is done um, with the help of um, annotated data which is um, which is then fed through the discriminative network and then trained so after receiving these this information we can directly convert that into primitives and then those primitives can be converted to the vector format so uh, our work mainly deals with applying super resolution to this network so what uh, super resolution is is it's a methodology or again a neural approach that converts low resolution images to high resolution through a, a non-linear mapping so how this is done is uh, two examples on the right are, are shown. One is super, super resolution uh, convolutional neural network, which is the first super resolution paper, and the uh, fast super resolution convolutional neural network. So in this example, we can see that there are two approaches that can be used to solve the same problem, which is upscaling of an image. So um, for the first approach, um, the upscaling was done first using bicubic interpolation and then the same image size was then further refined into a high resolution image. But for the fast super resolution convolution network, this was not the case. The low resolution image was directly fed into the network and then through the hourglass network, hourglass structure of the network, it was able to convert it to the high resolution image. So uh, after going through these papers, we can even say that FSRCNN performed better than SRCNN and faster. So there are many approaches to super resolution and uh, we have taken into account four of these methods for our, uh, uh, for our project. So coming to the problem gap, so Building 3D reconstruction models, they normally don't create editable models. So it's a very uh, common practice to use point clouds in these situations. So point clouds are essentially what come out of these um, reconstruction models. Um, data can be in many different formats like that uh, as seen here uh, in the form of a heat map or it can even be in the form of images. 
so such uh, robust uh, such such um, data is actually very difficult to um, to convert into editable models that can be used in the industry that's where floor plan data comes in so um, one floor plan data set which is very popular and it is right now the state of the art is cubicasa 5k model which contains 5000 floor plan images and they uh, are all annotated so manually annotated um, a trend in this data set is that there are very uh, less number of low resolution images so these low resolution images as you can see on in the graph around 500 to 1000 that is uh, essentially the size that we would get on uh, a web web image floor plan image that we get from the web data so uh, naturally this network fails to perform well on uh, raw data so on raw data from the web so super resolution is uh, one such way to uh, in enhance the image before sending it through this train network so our objectives mainly revolve around evaluating a stacked module that contains the multitask cnn uh, and super resolution as a preliminary step to object detection we also study the latency between these uh, uh, between these super resolution techniques and also have a bit of uh, inference based on the image sizes so the proposed method that we are using in our um, project is to convert the raster images into a high resolution image uh, mainly upscaling it by two and then we uh, we are testing different super resolution methods um, that are fed into the multitask cnn then this inference is uh, uh, further compared with the original svg that was uh, created by manually annotating these images so uh, the network shown here is the same as the discriminative network in liu et al's paper however this was explained by uh, calebro et al in 2019 and uh, their work basically uh, focused on the data part of things and uh, improved on the network that was given by Liu et al. So coming to the results. So for the best case, uh, which is the best image for our data set, um, we found that EDSR showed a 39.47% increase in object detection. But on an average, it was around 12.17%. So um, the best case is shown here in these in this image below. The Cubicasa model is um, uh, is on the left hand side, and the super resolution model is on the center. So comparing these two models with the original, we can clearly see that Cubicasa's inference is stable yet inaccurate. However, uh, super resolution model is uh, more accurate but uh, slightly unstable. This is due to the fact that we are using junction points also in the discriminative network and junction points are actually being calculated using a heat map. Now the heat map uh, has a tendency to provide us with more junction points than that is necessary. So this confuses the post processing of our network. So uh, that is one thing to note in this um, slide. Now coming to the results. The room detection results were largely uh, improving in all our cases and um, the, the main reason why this was happening is because the semantic segmentation uh, was actually improving quite a bit. So pixel wise uh, segmentation improved by a great amount. But uh, again there are a few things like garage uh, detection that didn't improve. Mainly uh, this can be attributed again to the junction points. Uh, and that's more pronounced in these results, which is the icon detection results. Here, most of the results didn't improve, mainly because uh, of the junction point instability. Now, um, the door and window um, uh, accuracy has definitely improved, but the, the, that is mainly because they are sep treated separately in the network as, as um, uh, they contain different kind of uh, junction points. So that would be one reason why that has improved. So um, coming to the latency, 
Um, we definitely recommend using LAP SRN instead of EDSR because it is much faster on average and it doesn't um, uh, and the trade-off for accuracy is actually reasonably good. So it performs uh, with an improvement of 12.01% but it is 82.76 times faster than EDSR on average. Uh, now to enable uh, super super self-supervised learning, uh, we definitely um, uh, think that that is a very Im important step forward because manual annotation of web data is very uh, is a very tedious process and uh, given the large corpus of floor plan images um, we think that uh, self-supervised or semi-supervised learning is a good approach forward um, improving the post-processing me me mechanism is also quite important as we saw with the junction point detections the icon detection fails for large images and uh, this actually results in a catastrophic failure at, at times when the polygons self intersect. So because there are so many junction points detected due to the nature of the heat maps, that self intersection of the polygons create a lot of latency. And this is, uh, this is seen with many images that are there in the Cubicasa dataset also. Uh, by simple upscaling, it creates these problems. So the post-processing mechanism needs to be uh, improved. So these are the references. So thank you all for listening. Uh, this was my project on enhanced object detection uh, through super resolution on floor plans. And uh, the code is available in the link des description below. So thank you.